This is the latest edition of Front Up, and I'm Whitey Willauer, and I've got a great guest today, Catherine Flanagan Stover. How are you today? Good. How are you, Commodore? Well, don't call me a Commodore. <laughs> Even though in our earlier lives I was a Commodore, and what were you? I was a lowly accountant. I, oh, you were? I thought you yes. waited on table. Well, I did that too. And your father was a. On accountant. Thursdays, Thursdays and Saturdays, I was waiting table and. Um, my grandmother and my father and I were in the accounting. She was a office. terror. Oh, she wasn't. Yes, she was. Well, she. <laughs> she really. She had a backbone. By God, she did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think you take after her. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I brought you a gift. Oh gosh, I, I, is it over fifty dollars? No, it's not. Okay. Hold <laughs> it up. Let us see it. What is it? Christmas doll. Mm-hmm. What is that? It's a book I published last year. Oh, really? It's just a short story, yeah. Oh, I'll read it's it. It's fun. I don't it's have fun. to read it now, do No, I? you don't, no. Oh, okay, thank you. Well, tell me a little bit about, you're, you're the, uh, the, the, the town, what are you? you? You're the town clerk? I am. Yeah, and you're elected? I am. Yeah. Very elected. Yeah, I know you're very elected. Well, tell me a little bit about what's going on with the town clerk. Um, well, we're, we have a very busy election year, and we are in the middle of doing our census, which has been kind of difficult because the scanners that we had were not working. So we had to put everything in by hand. So now we have two new scanners, and um, so that should facilitate things a little bit. We sent out over 6,000 census forms. So there were 6,000 households. That's, um, you know, you could have from one to 20 people in a household, mm -hmm. the ones that we know about. Mm -hmm. So, but basically we have about 8,000 voters, and I think, 18,000 people. Wow. You estimate pretty high. I do, because I have good reason to. Yeah. I mean, what, oh, what time of year are you talking about 18,000? Year-round. Well, year-round, you have 40,000 in the summer. What's, right. the, what's the minimum in the winter? I would say 18,000. I don't believe it. Well, I know. Nobody believes it. No. I, we have 8,000 voters, and there's a standard town clerk adage that for every registered voter, you have at least one other person mm -hmm. who is not a voter in your community. Mm -hmm. So that would bring us to 16,000, just in an average community. Now we have a huge transient population, not so transient, but foreign national population, mm -hmm. I should say. Yeah. And uh, I would say there are at least 5,000 of those. Mm -hmm. So that would bring you up to 21,000. Well, we're, I'm not going to argue with you about, the, about that's, this that's one. That's good. I don't dare. Yeah. <laughs> because I had the Worcester Polytech kids trying to determine this. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we won't get into that. Yeah, we Tell really need a door-to-door. A, a -door. Yeah. Not like the feds did, but we need our own people going door-to-door. -door. Mm -hmm. You know, after dark. When the lights go on, then we knock at the door. That's oh how they God. used to do it. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, Catherine, tell me about the workload in, in your office and what's going on as far as that's concerned. Um, in addition to the presidential election this year and the primaries and the town elections and town meeting, we have um, an awful lot of new duties that we have to t take care of. The state's constantly coming up with ways that we can facilitate things for them. And uh, most recently it was the open meeting law and then it was the ethics test and then the receipts that everybody has to have, and then the bi-yearly bi filings, and I mean, this, it's just always something. Yeah. A lot of this is just, in other words, I've done, done, taken the ethics test, and you go through this, and if you get the answer wrong, they, they keep letting you do it until you get yes. the answer right. Well, that's Although I did learn a lot from that. You did? Yeah, because eventually I found out the right answer, and that taught me something. But there is, and, and you've got the cemetery uh, situation also. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to find out who's buried where and. Yes, and uh, we ha we now have a cemetery commission, mm -hmm. which is fabulous, and they are um, working with the Lewis family, and um, we are finding out where people are buried and who owns what and how much space we have. We really need a new cemetery, so I'm hoping that that will be on the radar soon. Yeah, but in, in other countries, they begin to pile people on top of each other. You can other. have a double deep option at Prospect Hill. Oh, you can? You can. When I was on the board there, I mentioned it to them. They go, ooh, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you're, you're doing the census. 
Now, you, th th don't you publish a street list once we you do. get that? Once a year. Yeah. Um, they'll be they'll be scanning our census state machine in beginning of April, I believe. Mm -hmm. So we have to have the census done by then, the scanning in and the changes and whatever. Um, and we've had a we've gained a lot of people in the past two months. Um, there's a little girl that works for the school system, and she has started meeting with parents of um, the foreign national people, and they have children in the school system, but they might not necessarily have registered with us. Mm -hmm. They can't vote, and unless they had a baby or got married or died or whatever, they wouldn't register with us. So, um, in the past three weeks, she's given us census forms with 183 new people. These are people that were on the island, all They've of these been on the un island. unregistered. Right. And um, since the wind turbine um, articles are going to be on town meeting and on the ballot, we've had, I think, probably 40 people register to vote to either go to town meeting or vote on the ballot just for that one issue. So it's, it's Yeah, I've been encouraging uh, yeah. the younger people because they're the ones that are interested in the wind turbine mm -hmm. to get to s register and vote and then uh, to to come out and this might be a, a methodology to get more people voting younger people earlier well um, just voting is not enough they really need to be informed about what it is they're mm -hmm. voting for yeah and um, I think that it's really important for the education to be presented by either the proponents or the opponents um, in a clear manner, with facts, not not suppositions and not mm -hmm. you know wild accusations. And yeah. I think, and pie in the sky, you know, whatever we're going to achieve, you know, wonders, and um, it really has to be factual. Yeah, but it's very difficult in this town to get people educated. In other mm -hmm. words, you can put it in the newspaper and people don't read the newspaper. You can put it on right. television and they don't watch yeah. television. And then they come up and say, why didn't somebody tell me about it? You have to be aggressive. I'll tell you why. Because people are working three jobs True. to stay here. And well, then you know, that's why I say it has to be clear and concise and very crisp. easy to read. Crisp. Absolutely. Yeah. And brief. Yes. Well, that's what I mean, mean by crisp. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I noticed that uh, the Sconset Beach Nourishment uh, are, that failed, didn't it, before the uh, a, uh, the Concom? Con -com. Um, well, I've read in the paper that they were, I think they were going to deny the proposal, the, yeah. the latest proposal. Yeah, I'd, he I'd heard that they had, but I'm not sure about that. Now, you are against the the uh, protection of the eastern coast. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not against that. Now, what, what are you against then? I am for a coastal management plan. Yes, I am. That's comprehensive too. for the whole island. Right. I am not against Sconset Beach. Mm hmm. The funding, the, the group. Um, I am very much a proponent of making an, a level playing field for everyone. Well, I'm and glad to hear that. We have, you know, we have a lot of issues. And to concern ourselves with only one small part and, you know, of private funders for public property, that's an issue. And I think that, you know, we need to be concerned about Madiket and Hither Creek and Surfside and all those places uh, where people might not have the money to take the steps that the Sconset Beach Preservation um, Fund has. But um, I think it starts with a coastal management plan so that everybody is on the same page in how they start, what questions they have to answer, and what things they have to achieve or prove. Yeah, are you against hardening? Hardening? Uh I'm not against anything if it works. Okay. What I'm against is, you know, saying, well, this is going to work. It's worked pa in the past, but there are places where it hasn't worked, too. Mm -hmm. And I think for Nantucket, where that, you know, it's a very open area. And I think it's really important to know what we're doing and what we're going to be faced with. Mm -hmm. I mean, from what I understand, when they put those gabions and mattresses in, we're going to lose the beach. There will be no beach. So... You know, we have to say, are we willing to give up the beach to save the bluff, to mm -hmm. save the houses or whatever? So I think the coastal management plan will help us, will help everyone decide what it is we want for Nantucket and what will be good for all. 
Now, you, you have a lot of storage of material and, and items like that. How, how are you going to manage that as, as the amount of information comes in? And um, well, I've been, <coughs> excuse me, I've been very fortunate. The Community Preservation Committee has given me an awful lot of funds, probably almost a million dollars. Well, mm -hmm. maybe even over. Um, so I've retrofitted my vaults. I have a laser fish storage system. Um, my next territorial demand is a, uh, a, a town-wide records management plan. And um, I think that we, we really need a storage facility. Every single office is filled with paper. Mm -hmm. And it's not going away. The state uh, records retention schedule requires that most of this paper be kept. So there are schedules that you can get rid of stuff, and um, but a lot of it has to be permanent records. Does it have to be paper, or can it be uh, um, Well, town digital. meeting minutes, town meeting minutes, election records, all those things have to be paper. Why? That's what the state says. Why does the state say that? Well, because that's they're the state, and they said so, so that's why it is. Just like they tell the town clerks, they have to some, do something new now. Um, they, they're in charge. And in 2000, what really got me started on this whole project of, of archiving and, and reproduction of the, the minutes and saving the records and everything, in 2000, they wanted to take all the records, all the originals, and put them in a storage place, <coughs> excuse me, in Dorchester. And... Um, most town clerks, they never discussed it with the town clerks. They said, we're going to do this, you're going to love it. Well, no, we're not going to love it. We're responsible for those records, and you're not getting them. Mm -hmm. So they... <laughs> you're gone, <laughs> Catherine. Quite so, the state. Yeah. So basically, they took that position because some towns were not taking care of their records. Mm -hmm. And we had a lot of records that were up in the attic. They were dirty. They weren't being kept in an appropriate uh, condition. So, um, you know, I was afraid that they, they really would take them and fix them and charge us, which they could do. So, yeah. um, and also when you, when you talk about laser fish and um, cassettes and video recorders and all those types of things, you have to hope that that, that technology Doesn't, will still yeah. be available to yeah. play all that stuff back and retrieve it. True. But then you also have the problem, how do you find something? How do you search if you've just got a pile of well, papers? the laser fish system is fabulous. Yeah. It really is. You, you enter a word, the, the example that they always give, the classic example, is barking dog. So if you put in barking dog, every instance of barking dog will come up. Selectmen, town meeting, um, you know, uh, police records, anything that deals with that and then you can sort it by mm -hmm. what type of record sure. you need. Yeah, but you have to get it so it's sortable. Well, it is. It's yeah. optical character recognition. Yeah. That's good. And so it works That's very good. well. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting a signal that I've, I've, I've run, run a Again? Little yeah, yeah. So now tell me what I should be asking you. Would you like a raise? I, I raise? I, I was going to take a uh, cut. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, how often do the selectmen say cut my salary by 10%? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. Would I like a raise? No, would I like a raise? Oh, would you, you like You were going to ask me, remember? Would you like a raise? Oh, okay. Yes. Would you like a raise? I would love one, thank you. And how is that accomplished? Um, well, I basically have to go to the people, but um, that's probably not going to happen for a while, so... It'll be, it's been a number of years, and it will probably be a few more years before I get a raise. I see, I see. Okay, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. And thank you for coming over, and, and uh, I was hoping you'd wear what you wore yesterday. Which well, was, wasn't that the Patriots or something? No, like? it wasn't Patriots. No, it was Red Sox. Oh, Red Sox. Oh, yes. okay. <laughs> thank you very You're much, welcome. Catherine. You're right. welcome. Great.